Hey, what's going on guys? It's Debron25 here, and today I'm bringing you a world record gameplay. I went 82 and 10 in this gameplay, and I am playing solo team deathmatch. Now, that's the reason why this is the world record, is because I'm playing solo team deathmatch. I'm not playing with a team, so other people have gotten the full 100 kills in team deathmatch before, but they played with a party of six, and then their five teammates literally didn't get a kill, so there was only one person going around and getting kills. But in this gameplay, I'm literally playing by myself, with nobody else in my party at all, just playing with random people, and they just don't get kills this game. They are literally trash, like, they should not be playing Call of Duty public matches, basically how bad they are, like, it, it was ridiculous. Now, uh, I just want to quickly point out that at the beginning of this game, I am kind of camping a little bit. It's like really, actually, really slow gameplay for the start of this, but um, it's strictly because my scuff paddle broke. It like literally like wouldn't work. Um, now my scuff has actually, my paddle has actually broke once. It snapped in half, but in this one it w was still intact. Just that when I pressed the button, it actually wouldn't um, jump, and then. Also, I forget what else happened. Oh, I couldn't use my square button, so I'm actually using a default controller. My, I actually sent my scuff in at the time of this gameplay, so I'm using the default controller. I can't jump and shoot at the same time. My hands are way too big for the PS4 controller to even remotely try to play claw. Um, so I'm just playing default settings with tactical button layout. But um, yeah, I just wanted to point out that it's not going to be like super over the top, like jumping over stuff and killing people. Like it's not going to be like top of the line gameplay I guess is what I'm saying but um yeah so I just wanted to point that out that my scuff paddle is broke so that's why at the beginning of the gameplay my um play style was a little bit slow but once I start getting kill streaks and stuff I start running around a little more right here is really unfortunate but um the other reason why this is a world record you guys might look up um solo world record TDM kills and the actual world record is 83 but he got a deatomizer strike. So this is the world record without getting a deatomizer strike. So we're going into a little bit of technicalities there. Um, but I'm not even using a gun that allows me to get the deatomizer strike. The RVN had literally just come out in Infinite Warfare. And this is the base version of the weapon. So um, I really can't get a deatomizer strike in this gameplay. Even if I went on a 30 gun streak. Which I don't know if I did. I doubt it because my kill streaks did get a lot of my kills. Um, I think, like, my warden and my, uh, I forget, the giant robot that runs around GI unit type of thing, uh, RC-8, that's what it's called, RC-8, so, um, I'm just gonna leave that here, um, I'm gonna let you guys finish out the gameplay with some music, so if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching guys, see ya.